Hey my Jelly Beans, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to sit down and tell you about one of my crush stories. And let me tell you, this is so embarrassing because of my clear misunderstanding of the situation and reading the room completely wrong. And honestly, every time I think of this story, it cracks me up because one of my friends was hyping me up so much. And then I fell flat on my face and regretted everything. <laughs> So I really just wanted to sit down and tell you this story about my crush's secret and honestly it's so funny how everything turned out. But if you're not subscribed to my channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and join the Jelly Bean Squad. I do make a lot of videos about sexuality and just my life, so if that's something you're into, be sure to subscribe. But we're just gonna hop in this video and talk about my crush's secret, which honestly wasn't really a secret and wasn't really anything, but I'll get to that. So this all starts out a few years ago whenever I was in college and I had the biggest crush on this football player and he was everything that I'm attracted to. To. Brown hair, brown eyes, nice teeth, a football player. Literally everything that you can think of. And honestly, I had a thing for this guy. Like a really big thing. And that sounds really dirty. Probably shouldn't have worded it that way, but it's okay. I was really attracted to this guy and we were decent friends. Eventually I decided, why don't I come out to him and just tell him maybe he'll come out to me too. Maybe he's hiding a little secret and we can be bi buddies. And I came out to him and he was super cool about it. He told me, thanks for telling me. That's really nice of you. And I waited and that was the conversation. That's all that happened. I was a little mad. You can come out to me. You know that, right? You know you can come out to me. But he didn't because he was straight, as they all are. He clearly has my heart at this moment, but I'll get over it. I always do. I always get in the way of my feelings and eventually it blows up in my face so I can deal with it. Over time, I felt like he was being flirty. He would say things like, you're such a good guy. Anyone would be lucky to have you. And I was like, okay, are you like spicing me up? Are you buttering up this turkey? What are you doing? Doing? Are you getting ready to go ham on me? And I thought he was being flirty and I thought he was trying to make a move So I just went along with it and I was like, thanks. You're really attractive, too If you're giving me compliments, I'm gonna give them back and eventually we were just talking with each other And he asked me if I liked movies and clearly I like movies who doesn't like movies and he asked me What type of movies do you like action movies romantic movies and it was just a nice conversation We were having but I didn't know why he was asking and then he said do you like the drive-in and clearly I don't like the drive-in but I do like the drive-in if it's with you. So I said yes. Yeah. I really do like the drive-in. And then the question came. Well, I was just wondering if you wanted to go to the movies with me. And my heart sank. Are you asking me on a date? Are you asking me to go with you, the football player? The really attractive football player that I've been crushing on for weeks and weeks. And I was literally like shaking. What is going on? I said yes. I was so excited. I was ready to go on this date because I thought I was going to get lucky. And then he goes, my girlfriend's going to be there too, if that's okay. And my mind was so confused. What's going to happen? Is this a threat? Threesome? Is that what this is? He knows I'm bisexual and he asked me to go with him to the movies and then said his girlfriend was gonna be there too. What's going on? Why didn't he lead in with my girlfriend and I want you to come with us to the movies? I was completely confused, completely lost. So I went home, I was texting my friend. This really attractive guy wants me to go to the movies with him, but his girlfriend's gonna be there. What do I do? And she went off. He wants a threesome, you better do it. But me being the shy little that I am, I don't know what to do. So I'm freaking out, thinking that this is gonna gonna be a thing, thinking I'm gonna go and then it's gonna lead to something that I'm not really sure about doing and I was terrified. And eventually I decided to stay home because clearly this man had a girlfriend. Clearly this man was straight, or at least I thought. What if I would go, think something was gonna happen, and then completely embarrass myself? I was not in the best position to go and do this because clearly I thought it was something in the moment. But in reality, he was probably just being nice and noticed, hey, this guy might need some friends. Me and my girlfriend are going and that's it. And eventually I learned it was a group get together and it was so embarrassing when I found that out because I had to message my friend and say, he was just being nice. He was not trying to get with me. And I should have known better because clearly I was not the most attractive person. And for the football player to ask me, that doesn't happen in real life. That is not a real life scenario. That happens in the movies. And I should have known better, but I didn't. And it was hilarious when I found out that it was just a group of people going because I thought it was something more. But honestly, maybe he did want a threesome. I don't know. The world will never know and I will never know, sadly. But he was one of the most attractive people that I've ever had a crush on. Still breaks my heart to this day that it could have happened, 
but it didn't. Shoulda, coulda, woulda, never know. But I want to thank you guys for watching this video and coming back every single week. I hope you guys are liking my story times because I'm going way back into my memories and diving deep into my embarrassing moments that completely tear me apart inside when I'm trying to sleep at night. But I want to thank you guys for watching this video and coming back every single week. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and join the Jelly Bean Squad. And if you don't follow my other social media, I'll leave it all linked below. And as always, stay fruity, my Jelly Beans. Thank you.